Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss information technology systems or simply put IT system. What is an IT system? It's a combination of hardware, software, and telecommunication network that businesses or people use to collect, process, store, and dis disseminate data. IT system can be used to support a wide range of business processes, and that's why we have many IT systems. In this session, we're gonna review many parts of IT systems, various parts, such as business information system, transaction processing system, office automation system, management information system, MIS, decision support system, executive information system, or executive support systems, expert systems, enterprise resource planning, customer relationship management, knowledge management systems, accounting information systems. Now here's what you need to know. The one that are highlighted in yellow, I do have a separate recording for them. Okay, because I believe those are, they require more attention. So that's why I have them separate. The one in red, I'm going to be discussing today, going over today. So if you're looking for BIS or MIS, look at those recording or ER, especially ERP and CRM and AIS, especially if you're an accounting major or studying for the CPA or the CMA exam. Are these the only information system? And the answer is no, we could have many others. Such as, such as supply chain management system, business intelligence system, not, you know, this is BIS and this is BIS. We could also have a BI, simply, call, simply put called BI, business intelligence. So we could have many systems. In this, in this session, I'm going to start to discuss the systems, and I'm going to start with the one that you are most comfortable with, and this is Office Automation System, or OAS. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. No obligation, no credit card required. What is an office automation system? It's a computer-based system that automate routine office tasks. What would you have in this? Word documents, spreadsheet management, email communication, and scheduling. What are we looking at, really? We're looking at Office, Microsoft Office. This is what an office automation system, that's a system. The goal of the system is to improve the efficiency and productivity of the office work by streamlining repetitive tasks and reducing manual effort. We all use Excel, Word document, email, scheduling, Office 365. This is what an office automation system is. Is this the only one? No, but it's the, it's the dominant one, Office 365. What are the key features of the system? It provides tools for editing text-based document such as letters, report, and presentation, PowerPoint slides, so on and so forth. Provide tools for creating and analyzing numerical data, such as spreadsheets and graphs. Tools for sending and receiving electronic messages, email, instant messaging, video conferencing, and tools for scheduling and managing appointments, meetings, and events. If you use 365, you know what an OAS is. I started with this one. So, so these concepts are not foreign to you, something you can touch. It support collaboration sharing, allowing multiple users to work on the same document, like the shared drive or project in real life. So this is called an office automation systems. You might see a multiple choice about the exam about this. We could also have transaction processing system. Also, you may, you may be familiar with this system or work with it without even knowing. Transaction processing system is a system that does what? Process transactions in any place of work. You would have a transaction processing system, whether you are buying, selling, being paid, paying for suppliers, so on and so forth. It support and automate business transaction, sales, purchases, and payments. They are designed to process large volume of transaction quickly and accurately, often in real time. Think about point of sale. Where you buy something, they scan it, boom, it's done. This is transaction processing system. They are critical for businesses as they support the core operations such as order fulfillment, inventory management, and financial reporting. So it's important. Key feature of a TPS is it capture transaction data from various sources. The, the main example, point of sale terminal. What's a point of sale terminal? Is when you buy something in a supermarket, when they scan it, this is point of sale terminal. 
e-commerce website. Maybe you purchase this course and you go through my website, e-commerce. This is a transaction processing system for me because when you buy it, it's a sale from my end. And what captured the sale? This, this is my transaction processing system. Also, it validates transaction to ensure that it's accurate and meets specific business rules and requirements. For example, when you input your credit card information, if it doesn't match, if you put invalid address, it doesn't accept. It processes transaction data, updating databases and generating report. Also, it stores transaction and databases for future retrieval and analysis. I can go in and look at sales report uh, and other data as well. It also implements security measures because you are processing transaction. For example, my system will have security measures to make sure your data is protected from any unauthorized access and modification. A typical example of this TPS is an online retail store ordering management system. Okay, or in a supermarket, that, that teller, or if you work in a supermarket, and I work in a supermarket when I was in college, when you scan, this is your, your processing transaction, scanning, you're not processing it manually, the system is processing the transaction. Another system called DSS, or Decision Support Systems. Those are computer-based, they're all computer-based, that support decision by providing managers with information and tools they need to analyze data, identify patterns and evaluate alternative courses of action. It's a little bit more advanced than the previous system. Remember, the previous system is routine. We're looking here at routine transaction, automating routine transaction. That's, you know, sales, purchases, payment. Those are routine. They happen on a regular basis. The, the decision support system is more for analyzing data, identifying pattern and evaluate alternative course of action. This is what it is. So it's a little bit more advanced comparing to the transaction processing system. So if we start with TPS, no, let's start with TPS here. So if we start with TPS, this is kind of more advanced, DSS. So if you think TPS, or let's assume the TPS employees uses TPS, DSS, let's say middle, middle level management, middle level management, MM. Some key features of a DSS include data access. DSS provide managers with access to internal and external data, such as financial data, market research, and customer data. Because now you're look, you're look, you're, you are working on the manager's level. DSS provide tools for analyzing the data, such as spreadsheets, stati statistical software, and predictive analytics. You might say, hold on a second. Then the OAS, the Office Automation System, also have a spreadsheet? Yes, but here you might have more advanced features, or you're going to be using the spreadsheet to conduct analysis rather than just keeping the data. You could have statistical software that's integrated in it, and it could have predictive analytics. It could have a modeling feature, which modeling for evaluating alternative actions, like what if analysis, what if we do this, okay, such as cost benefit and scenario planning. It, it might have a visualization power, such as graphs, charts, and maps to help managers. Again, who uses the DSS like the managers? Understand complex data and relationship. It has also a collaborative feature by providing platform for stakeholders to work together, for example, managers and share insights. An example of this will be maybe a financial planning and analysis system used by a company's finance department. This could be a DSS system. Could have many types in different industries. EIS or Executive Support System, ESS, depending on your textbook or in your CPA course, they might use it differently. Remember, we have TPS. We said TPS employees uses the TPS. Again, I just want you to understand this. Then we have ESS executives uses executive, which is the top management. And we have the middle level management. They use which system? DSS. So notice here, we go from TPS to DSS. Basically, I'm going to a higher level. It's a compu computer-based system. They're all computer-based system that provide high-level executives with summarized view of the organization performance. So it's not transaction. It's not data that, you know, mid-level management, high-level views. Some key features include a dashboard. A dashboard is basically one screen where you, it could be multiple screen where you can see the big picture of what's going on. This is a dashboard. Provide executive with real-time dashboard that display KPIs such as sales, revenues, and customer relationship. Or it could also have, it could have the ability to generate report to provide for executives a summarized view of the organization performance, such as financial reports, operational reports, and market report. Of course, because managers, what they're interested in having reports, reports about what? About the company overall, not specific product, not specific, not specific, uh, not specific uh, uh, area. 
the overall, how, how everything is going. And when we talk about display KPI, KPI, KPI is key performance indicators. It could be for different companies, could be many things to just gauge the process, the progress of the company. It will also have a data visualization feature, just like the DSS graphs, chart maps. For example, you want to know what's going on geographically that help executives understand complex and relationship data. We, they would have also a data access, provide executives with access to data and information from multiple sources, internal databases, external databases, and sensors as well. An example would be maybe a CEO, CEO dashboard, most software. For example, right now I'm using a, an educational software. It has a C, it, it's called the CEO dashboard. For example, you will have access of everything what's going on in terms of activity within the company. For example, CEO dashboard used by a CEO, large retail chain. Then we have expert system. Expert system is a little bit different than the previous three. It's a computer program that designed to mimic the decision making ability. Here you are making decision of a human expert in a specific domain. When you think of expert system, think of AI or robotics, although we're not going to call them robotics and AI because we're going to have, you know, separate session about artificial intelligence, but they are, I don't know how different they are. They are mimicking decision-making ability of a human in a specific situation. Some key features will be expert system use a knowledge base to represent the expertise of a human expert in a specific domain. So it might have enough information in a specific domain where it can tell you something of an expertise of a human based on the knowledge that you fed it. Rule-based system, okay? It could be used as a set of rules to make decision based on information and the knowledge base. So for example, you tell it once you find this information, you will you know, produce these results. Here we have, again, artificial intelligence capability. Again, artificial intelligence and expert system, there's blurry uh, line there. Uses artificial intelligence techniques such as machine learning, natural language processing to improve their decision-making abilities. And basically, artificial intelligence is basically looking at the data, studying the data quickly, and being able to decipher the data into useful information could be a bunch of data. It may take someone two, three weeks to go over the data. Maybe an expert system trained on that data can give you the information that you need and spell it to you in simple language rather than hiring a person for three weeks to generate this information. It will have a user interface that's very user friendly. It should be that allows users to interact with system and receive recommendation and solution. Now, if you Google or if you go on YouTube and you type Lita AI, Lita artificial intelligence, and you will see a an expert who's a doctor, Dr. Alan Thompson, talking to this artificial intelligence, but the other person, the other, I said person, the artificial intelligence looks like a person and talking to them. So this is what we mean by user interface. It can be that realistic. It would give explanation and justification uh, for their decision, allowing users to understand the reasoning behind the decision. An example of it could be in the medical diagnosis field where the doctor is feeding the information to get an, to get an expert opinion from this expert system. Obviously, the doctor would use their own opinion, but it will help. So an expert system used by a doctor to treat patient could be a good example. The system provides explanation and justification for its diagnosis, however, allowing the doctor to understand the reasoning. Now, the doctor will make the final decision to make informed decision about the best course of treatment for their patient. Maybe the doctor overlooked something. The expert system don't because they don't get tired. They're trained to be on their feet 24 seven. Another system called knowledge management system or KMS. This system is designed to support the creation, storage, retrieval, and dissemination of knowledge within an organization. Uh, basically knowledge-based system with, for the employees. Some key features include knowledge repository, basically provides centralized rep repository for storing and organizing knowledge such as document, videos, and audio file. And I'm pretty sure at your company, you have a place where if you need a document, there's some, you know, somewhere on the hard drive. If you need to view, view a video or an audio file, this is basically a knowledge rep repository. Search and retrieval provide advanced search and retrieval capabilities for number one, making it easier for employees to find the information that they need. It would have a collaboration and sharing. For example, if you find a file, it will allow you to share it with other people. Per personalization, it provide features such as recommendation and customized views to help employees find the information that's more relevant to their need. It could have a social features, for example, forum, wikis, and blogs to support knowledge and sharing and collaboration. 
An example of knowledge management system is an employee portal used by a large corporation. For example, my wife she works in J&J and she always uses the system to look up information about her 401k, her pension, if she needs to get in touch with another person. There are blogs, wiki, blogs by other employees that they talk about issues and that's within the company, within the company itself. Now let's take a look at a multiple choice questions that you could see on the CPA exam so or on the CMA exam or whatever exam you are studying for so it shows you how you would use this information okay for example the question could be what's the main purpose of DSS decision support system DSS do you know what's the main purpose of DSS a to automate routine business transaction hmm is that the case I would say no okay uh, automate it's, it's, it, it could do this. It, it, it could definitely do this, but that's not the main purpose of it. The main purpose. And a, anyway, if you, uh, you know, you, you want to look at the other options, but I don't think that's the main purpose. Because routine business decision, uh, routine business processes, either they can be done by a TPS or they could be done by OAS. Could be done by both. So A is incorrect. This is not the main purpose. This is not the main purpose. Let's look at B. So A is out. B, provide high-level executives with summarized view of the organization performance. Hmm, high-level executives with summarized view? Not really, because high-level executives, they do have their own system, the executive support system or the executive information system. So no, B is not the correct answer. Okay, this is the purpose of the executive information systems, not the DSS. Three, to mimic the decision-making ability of a human expert and a in a specific domain. Hold on a second. This sounds like artificial intelligence. This sounds like an expert system, not a DSS. Indeed, this is the definition of an expert system. And by process of elimination, we, th we think D is a good answer to support decision-making to improve operational efficiency. Yes, DSS is used, as I told you, by middle-level management. For example, I told you TPS. Think of TPS used by employees. Let's Also, I'm going to add OAS. Let's assume it's used by the support people. Well, it could be used by the employee, but they're like in a support position. TPS by employees, DSS by middle management, ESS by executives, top level management. Now, the expert system could be used by DSS, ESS, I mean, basically whoever has the ability uh, or the capability or the qualification to use it. But D is the correct answer. The main purpose is to support decision-making and improve operational efficiency. It provides decision-maker with information they need to make They need to make informed decision by analyzing data, identifying patterns, and presenting results in an easy to understand. So what should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at similar MCQs that's going to test your knowledge about these different information systems. These are critical for your success. You need to know this information for either the CPA exam, the CMA exam, accounting information system, whatever certification you are working for. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.